Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and today we're on location in my bathroom, and I thought it would be fun if I shared my morning skincare routine with you. You know that I love skincare, and a lot of you asked me what products I use, so I thought I would do a video on my morning skincare routine, and then one week from today, I will do my PM skincare routine. I'm not gonna dive too deep into the ingredients, just going to keep it fairly simple, show you what I use, tell you why I use it and why I like it and if it works. So because I have oily skin in the morning, I still like to wash my face. Just, you know, not that it's dirty, but just to remove any oil that I may have accumulated overnight. I still have my Clarisonic brush. I use this in the morning just because it does a nice gentle exfoliation. I know this has been discontinued, but thankfully I have a lot of brushes ahead. And I just use a very gentle cleanser. The one that I've been using for probably the last year in the morning is the Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel by Neutrogena. So I'm just gonna go ahead, wet my Clarisonic. My face is dry, and then I just put one pump. And then basically, I don't use the brush the way you're really supposed to, but this is what works for me. And I basically just go around in circles just to kind of wake up the skin. My plaid and my polka dots are clashing today, so this is definitely a fashion don't. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna go rinse off my face. So I just pat my face, pat my face dry. The next step that I do is I use my hydrating toner. I love this toner. Even though I have oily skin, it can get kind of dry and tight in the winter. So I use this morning and night. So what I do is I take one Shiseido cotton and basically I just pull it apart and I just use half for in the morning. The reason, well, I like this toner for many reasons. It's very hydrating. And as somebody that has oily skin, I don't like feeling like I have stuff on my face. So it's just nice to kind of do a, I don't know, a refreshing toner makes me feel clean. And I like that it has a push down pump. So I usually use about three pumps, fairly saturated, and then I just go all over the face. My next step in the morning is I use the PCA Total Strength Serum. I love this stuff. It has a growth serum in it, so it's going to help with collagen. It just really makes my skin feel nice and soft. And I've been using this line now for probably about three years. And if I was to go back and find a picture from three years ago and put it against my skin today, I can really see an improvement in my skin. So I totally believe in the PCA skin. It's really transformed my skin. I just put one and a half pumps on the back of my hand and then I just dot it all over and just work it in everywhere on my face and pull it down to the neck. And I really, I go up like under the eye, go on my eyelids, just don't get it in the eye. The next product that I use is the PCA Hyaluronic Acid. When I introduced this into my skincare a couple of winters ago, in the winter for probably the last five years, I really noticed my oily skin getting dry, I guess it's due to, you know, probably hormones, menopause. When I introduced this, I really felt like my skin instantly got hydrated and it looked um, plumper and uh, my skin's a lot tighter, but I think that has something to do with the microneedling that I started a year ago but I love this stuff. Whenever my skin is feeling dry, I just put two pumps. You're only supposed to use one, but you know, I love skincare, so I kind of <laughs> like to use a lot. And then I just dot it everywhere, and then rub it in. It's not sticky. That's what I love about PCA skin. I've used some other uh, brands, and I just, I don't like my skin feeling sticky. Again, I go close under the eye, eyelids. Now you can see my skin does get a little red when I touch it. I do have sensitive skin and I have mild rosacea, but my rosacea has really uh, been kept under control because I started using skincare in my 20s. I, I just love skincare. I love it more than makeup. 
Because I have large pores, I also use a pore minimizer and I find that this really does help to make my large pores less noticeable. I put one pump of that on. This is a little thicker in consistency and I concentrate mainly on my cheeks and my nose. So I'll do a dab there, dab there, whatever's left over. It's See, it's very, it's a lot thicker than the other serums. And then I just go all over my face and make sure everything is, you know, absorbed. The next product I've been using for about a month now, and it was sent to me. Yay, somebody finally found me on the internet and sent me stuff. It's by Paula's Choice, and it is her C5 Super Boost Eye Cream. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I always use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream. I love that eye cream. It is so hydrating and moisturizing and it, you know, plays well under makeup. Uh, no issues. I do notice using this one, say in the afternoon, if I, you know, wipe under my eye, it gets like a little, you know, like fuzz balls on a sweater. That's kind of how my skin gets underneath my eye. So I don't know if this is just a little too rich for my skin, but that's something that I've noticed. So I use one pump and then I just dab under this eye, under this eye, and then just work it in. I know you're supposed to use your ring finger, but I never do. And then I will even, you know, whatever's on my finger, I'll just put it up here. It is a nice eye cream. It might work better, like for somebody if you have dry skin. I just am being honest and I find on um, my skin it's not my favorite. So I'm gonna let all that sink in before I do the next step, but in the meantime, I love Laneige, the lip mask. I use it during the day and at night. I just put a little bit on my finger and go over the lips. So I have two moisturizers that I alternate between in the winter. I love the Collagen Hydrator. I use this in the morning mostly. Really love it. Uh, I've tried other moisturizers and there's just something about this one. It just works the best with my skin. It just makes my skin feel soft, hydrated. A little bit of this goes a long way. So you can see I just have a little bit, probably too much, and I just dab it all over. And I know like I should be using a spatula in my jars, but I don't. That's okay. It's just me that uses it. Before I go to the next step, I just want to show you, I do keep an It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream on my vanity for in the winter. I will use this on nights that I use my Retin-A, and I also will use it, say, if I get a wind burn or my skin just feels dry, I'll even put this over the collagen hydrator if I just feel like I want a little extra hydration. Something else that I also love and I use it all the time is the Caudalie Grape Water. I can tell it's cold here now, the furnace is on, I'm feeling a little dry. So I'll just take this and just spritz my face. I just, I love this stuff. My next step to finish off my skincare for the morning I put this brow serum on my eyebrows. I have used Latisse, it's very expensive. It's about $120 a month and that's for, I, I stretched my note probably to about five, six weeks, but I didn't repurchase it because what I was finding is that it was irritating my eyelids and my eyes were getting dry. And I have sensitive eyes, sensitive skin, and that is one of the side effects. So then I saw that the Ordinary sold brow gel and you can also use it on your eyelashes. And I think it was like under $15. So I tried it, the first time I put it on my eyelashes, it just irritated me and I decided I'll just use it on my eyebrows. It's okay um, if you're looking for a budget friendly option, you know, give this one a try. But then I stumbled across this one and it's by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's her brow serum. I 100% notice a difference since I started using this. I noticed that my, I, I only use it on my um, eyebrows, like you can't use it on your lashes. What I have noticed is that my eyebrow hair, it is filling in, but it just feels so conditioned. They're soft, my eyebrow hair. It's really easy to apply. I love the wand. 
and you just, I don't know if I can do this without seeing, but you just basically, you know, go where your, your eyebrows are. In my case, I'm missing my tails on both eyes due to hypothyroidism. Talk to my Botox doctor about it and she said if uh, there's no like hair follicle there, the hair is not going to come in and it didn't come in either with the Latisse. So I guess for now I just have to resort to putting them on with um, eyebrow pencil. If I wasn't gonna wear any makeup today, but I am going to film a makeup video, I would finish with the Chantecai mascara. This is expensive, it's really expensive. It was a splurge. I bought it when it was on sale at Nordstrom, but it's totally worth the money because it has serum in it to condition eyelashes, but it has actually helped my eyelashes to get longer and fuller. And you have noticed whenever I use this in my makeup videos, like my eyelashes almost look like fake eyelashes. I have very fair sparse eyelashes, and whenever I use this mascara, my lashes are pretty much touching, you know, my upper eyelid. So I think it's worth the price because the Latisse was supposed to be for the eyelashes and it's 120 a month. I think this was around 70, but I'm gonna keep this, you know, until I find that it's uh, dried up or gets clumpy. I know you're supposed to switch out your mascara every four weeks, but I go a little longer than that and I really believe in this product. So come back in a week, we're gonna go through my evening skincare routine. Let me know if you use any of the products that I showed. And in the meantime, go check out this makeup video where I actually sit down and tell you a little bit about my life as a female dairy farmer that was in my past life. You know, like a few years ago. I'll see you over there, bye.